Apocalypse Gaming. So now that the two layers are done, we go on and we glue and we stick. Third layer, simple as. Don't need to see me applying white glue, so well, we'll get it done. So disaster uh, averted just in the nick of time. This floor, which is the upper floor, we want to be flush. Whereas this other floor, we want the recess. So you have to flip it over before you put these other blocks in. Um, I nearly missed it. The top of the floor is flush with the top of the wall bricks. Whereas the other one that we were doing, the bottom of the floor is flush with the bottom of the wall bricks. I think I made this mistake in the last one I was building as well, but it was then too late and it was really, it was either build it all again or really chalk, uh, chip in and break it apart for the glue, I can't remember, but I just vague recollections of that mistake the last time, which is why I noticed it this time, because my brain went, something's wrong here! So, it's been averted, that bit stuck to the paper, I'll get some card, um, tomorrow once this is all set up and place it in there just to give that that bit I was talking about to reinforce the structure just the same idea as it shows you on the plans here glue a piece of cereal box to reinforce the floor so that's where we're at it's night night time for me so I'll pick this up in the morning but you probably won't know the difference so because I'm blonde I nearly forgot to show you this process we're now taking some of our pre-built sections and beginning to join them together so this is the very bottom layer and I'm just following my way around the plan doing one then the other one then the other but I just realised oops you're not recording and you've not told them what you're doing so that's all it is follow the plan round to get the base layer done so whilst those sections are drying up I'm jumping on to my next pre-built section which is for layer six and on that we need six expander blocks and three teeth and these we will just glue into position here with that on top and that on top okay may or may not notice I'm using a different glue. I ran out of my other one. But this is one of those usually reasonably expensive builder's glues that I picked up for a quid in the pound shop before I discovered that they're into human slavery. that policy reverses as I've said I wouldn't be dealing with them which is a shame because I used to pick up a lot of stuff there because it was always something good for the hobby always but hey ho it's possibly why there's always something good for the hobby because if you don't pay your staff you can sell your product cheap That's the teeth. Now walk away and let that bit glue up. I'll see if I can do another bit of the pre-builds. So jumping on to layer 19 here. No, nope, no I'm not. Tell a lie. Layers 14, 15, 16 and 17. Taking these pre-glued bits and positioning them here. Now doing the dry fit, it's hand cast stuff. 
it doesn't fit fantastically as you can possibly see there I've got a wee bit of a lean so it's just a case of I'm going to have to be very careful as I glue and position these just to get them all to link up and join it's not a biggie it's all part of the challenge all part of the fun but that's what I'm going to end up with when I'm done roughly if I don't knock that one over so I'm going to go in take my time and glue this and get this layer put together so there really wasn't much else I could do um, last night, so just in case I let it set up and dry, but the next stages will be the arch will go over the door and there'll be two triangular pieces going into place to help that happen. On these two corners the blocks we'll be using will be slightly different. We're going to be using one one full inch normal block and one half inch normal block. The rest of the way around we'll be combining half inch angled blocks and one inch angled blocks and they will form the basis all the way around and on each of the sections here we have one upright flagstone one inch brick and a skull as such so the instructions call for these to go in place first and it will be these sections but not the front two and then all of this starts going in place as well so from experience and what I remember the last time I'm better once I have that in place to get the closest one and work out in a way of each of them from what I remember and then that would go in there as such finishing off the shape so again because it's footer it'll do it off camera but you know the process now of what's going to be done so that if I'm not mistaken is this layer complete it just now needs to set up and dry so in the spirit of things let's put it aside and do not touch um, I think I can now go on and do some stuff to this area which again we do put together to dry but we'll jump into instructions and see actually I'm talking nonsense and this is the next layer we're on here so it's layer six we've already did the teeth and we're going to be adding going around it the angled blocks Help to put the angle the right way around like this and just building the layer round so again, you don't need to see me doing that, so we'll pause and jump on. So that's that next layer glued and in place, and again, walk away, let your white glue set, otherwise you risk shifting or moving something, well that's just not quite aligned, shifting or moving something that you don't want to when you put your next layer on, and it becomes very frustrating indeed. So, walk away let it set. So things are about to come marginally more complicated now. We're about to make a separatable layer and I haven't decided if I'm going to go back and re-engineer the instructions to make another separatable layer below but as, as per the plans this is going to be one. So what we want to do is glue one, two and three blocks in place. Then the next layer of blocks will fit them to work here but we won't glue them down, we'll just glue them together and that will then be our catch when they glue onto the layer above. So it's just one, two and three. So that's them glued down but the glue isn't set this time because what I want to do is take and glue the sections here together without gluing them down. So I'm just gluing them together and I want to make sure as I do that everything fits so that just might involve pushing about some of these blocks if I've got them marginally out of position so that's all I'll be doing. So I did come very close to having a fit issue around this side something I should have done and I thought I'd be cocky and wouldn't bother then realised I really should as I've marked these bricks which is the ones that won't need any glue on them when it comes to putting the next layer down on top to hold all this in place. 
Um, so these are just glued end to end, but not glued underneath so that they become the key for the next section when it lifts off. Um, so again, it's just walk away and let it dry. This section's just sat on, there's nothing glued there yet, so you've not missed anything. Um, but that's where that's at. There is a bit of a gapping issue there, I've just seen, so let's just pull that across a wee bit. So it's centered. A wee bit of a gap's our friend actually. Because that just means it'll go together that bit easier without scraping all your paintwork when you go to put it together. good. So walk away, let it dry, stop footing. So a wee mistake I made is the underside of this, I glued my cardboard all the way out. So I've had to try and trim that back and slice it away with my knife because when it comes to fitting it, let me just slide that out of the way, fitting it on here, that bit of cardboard was going to leave too broad a gap. So we just want that to be able to fit nicely and not have the gap so that should be now rectified there's a wee bit of wobble there so we have to do a little bit of sanding to get everything to fit perfectly I think but we'll get there because I'm thick again I forgot to start filming something I was doing Remember this bit where I have got three blocks glued on and the rest are loose? Well, I need that to be completely even. And when I sit this on it, it had a wobble. So to overcome that, what I've did is I've wrapped masking tape around these bits to hold in place the ones that aren't glued. And then on my sandpaper, invert it. Try to keep it in place because it's masking paper it's quite loose so now I can just turn and get that sanded all nice and level and that really should be it because it was pretty much there before I turned the camera on that bit's just a bit loose but that can be sorted but I forgot to film it so just thought I'd show you if we look at it on the camera it looks pretty level and when we sit our base on it really is, there's a tiny wee wobble there so I'll sand it just a wee bit more but it's not needing much and I'll probably just sand there as well just to get that smooth so now I've got some white glue on the top without putting glue on the four blocks that I've got glued down these are the other loose blocks I've got the glue on them and just try and sit that as square as possible or as octagonal as possible see it's an octagon we're building as square as possible and again it'll be walk away and I'll let the glue set but it's sitting nice and level there's no rock in it so I just now need that to glue down Leave that to do what it needs to do. Apocalypse Game Man.